Uh, well, one organisation that has a lot of free speech and has uh, been protesting quite a lot is, of course, Just Stop Oil. Uh, Alex de Koenig is there uh, with us now. Alex, you're very welcome to Talk TV. Uh, I know you're with Just Stop Oil, and protesters have been arrested near the Houses of, Par of Parliament in Westminster. What were they up to this morning? Hi, Peter. Thank you very much for having me on again. Um, they were doing this because we're in a climate well, what, what were they doing? They were blocking the roads. They were going on a slow march. Just, just talk us through they that. Were yeah, they were slow marching around Westminster Square repeatedly, and then after about only 20 minutes, the police arrested over 60 people. Okay, Just why why slow were marching around Westminster? Well, they're Square. breaking the law, Alex. Um, where, where what? Why were they doing that? They were doing that because we're in the climate emergency. Anybody who's been seeing the news recently knows these extreme weather events are becoming far more frequent and far more terrifying. We've seen the effect of Storm Babbitt recently. We've seen the effect of orange smoke screens in New York where people can't leave their homes because of wildfires in Canada. What's that got to We've do with stopping the, the traffic in Parliament Square? We are protesting against this government. I can't believe I have to bring it back to the real basics. No, I just don't understand how stopping traffic in Westminster has anything to do with your climate protest. Because we know it's effective. This is the first, because of Just Stop Oil's actions, the first time in UK history that the majority of the public has a negative opinion of oil. And that causes other parties, except for this bonkers Conservative Party, to stop licensing new oil and gas. Well, they've, ju they've just, done, they've just done exactly that. I mean, you failed, haven't you? Because the government has li no. licensed Rosebank. It is, uh, is li and and uh, Keir Starmer says, well, maybe he won't be giving new oil licenses, but he's not going to cancel those ones that have been issued. So actually, y your influence is limited, is it not? That's all the more reason to keep going, Peter. Again, I can't believe I have to spell this out. We are not going to stop until the government make a meaningful statement to end new oil and gas because we know that this is effective. We have seen it in the past with the suffragettes, the civil rights movement, the LGBTQ plus movement. Marching on the roads, just going on the road is a democratic Okay, Alex, Alex, right. Alex here we go, all right? Here we go, Alex. What social movement has not been on the streets? Okay, there are many social movements that have been on the streets. Most of them are protesting and not breaking the law. But listen, we'll get back to that in a second. The biggest polluter in the world, or one of the biggest polluters in the world, is China. Why don't you go to China and protest on the streets there and see how far you can get? That's honestly such a childish response, Peter. Why? Oh, my God, look at... Why? Why? why is, I mean, China, you, you want big polluters to stop... If China off a bridge, would you jump off a bridge? That's that's a stupid question. The point is that so there are. What about China? There are well, okay. Well, look, we are one percent of global emissions, right? That's Let's, also not true. Oh, that's not true, is it not? Okay. No. Well, what's, what's the what's the what's the figure, emissions. and where do you get that figure? That's domestic emissions. It doesn't include aviation. That's flights. It doesn't include our finances. We fund a lot of, um, for example. Um, components of phones or whatever that China make that gets sent to here. All the more reason, all the more reason to say, well, OK, I think we're going to agree. Uh, all the more... Hold on, let, let me just speak for a second the, and then I'll let you speak, Alex, if that's OK. All the more reason to you. say the UK is a polluter. You want to stop it being polluter. That's OK. That's fair enough. Let's just set that to one side for a minute. But there are much, much bigger... Uh, there are much, much bigger countries like the United States, like China, like India, that are huge polluters, that haven't signed up to net zero, that aren't doing nearly as much as the UK is doing to reduce carbon. And, and yet, Just Stop Oil doesn't seem to have even a branch in China. That's because they would lock you up and throw away the key. The fact is that you have the Re, you have the wherewithal and you also have the freedom to protest in this country, yet I've never heard a single condemnation, maybe I'll hear one now, I'd love to hear one from you, of China, of India, of the United States, or any plan to try to stop them being massive polluters. So there is a Just Stop Oil branch in America, um, and I do condemn um, China that for, for not doing enough with the climate crisis. So what crisis are you going to do to try to convince China? Uh, why, to, why don't you protest there, Peter, Alex? I allowed you to speak. Allow me to speak. Um, I, I do condemn um, China for, for not doing more with the climate crisis, but they are also doing a lot in terms of switching to renewable energy. And per capita, per person, we have the same amount of emissions as China. We actually have more emissions than India. But that's not even the point. The point is that renewables are cheaper, they're cleaner, they're safer. Why wouldn't we want them here? Our cheapest form of energy, onshore wind power, is being blocked in this country. What and Rishi Sunak is trying to block um, solar power. Alex, what phone do you Why? have? 
What? What phone do you have? What type of phone I do you have? I don't see how that's relevant. To it's the relevant. Question. It's relevant really? because no, there are all not, sorts Peter. of things. There are all sorts of things Peter, in your life. Oh my God! Like millions of people are going to have to leave their homes because of the climate crisis, because the temperatures are getting too high, because there are wildfires, because there are droughts, because there are floods, and we can stop that from happening. And we can have cheaper energy bills by just switching to renewable energy. I don't think that's as true, Alex. As soon as the government. I don't think that's true. I'm not asking for your opinion. I'm telling you the facts. Ooh. All right. Well, I mean, you've blocked traffic today and you've caused more pollution. That's not going to help the environment, is it? Peter, I cannot believe that. Can I explain to you how social change theory works? Go ahead. OK. The reason why Just Stop Oil do a lot of this, um, I'll try and sum it up as quickly as I can. Part of it is because of the radical flank effect. Right? There's great research from the Social Change Lab that says when we blocked the motorways last November, that caused more people to sign up to more moderate climate groups, such as Friends of the Earth, by quite significant numbers. So by us filling the space of the radical flank, of that causes more people to care more about the climate crisis, and it causes more conversations to happen. Because of all of our press mentions, according to Meltwater statistics, uh, we, if we had to pay our way to do it, all these press mentions, it would cost about two billion pounds. So but what? No, so what you're doing? So what you've decided we're getting is more that this... people to talk about the climate crisis, uh, okay, we're Alex... more people to hate oil and gas, and that causes these other things to so, happen. So, 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 so that, that then, oil. can I just ask you, Alex? That then justifies yeah. in your mind breaking the law, getting arrested doing things which are stopping people going about their daily lives when that's what they want to do, stopping people getting to hospital who need to get to hospital because you're blocking roads. All these, not you know, you, you won't tell, you won't go to China to protest, yet you're okay. saying that everything you're doing is, is justified and, and, pro, and po possible and reasonable, and you also won't tell me what phone you have, which presumably in, involved a lot of oil to make it. There are lots of things in your life that have meant that oil has been used to make it, so we can't ever not use oil, but you want to stop it completely. Did Edison create light with a candle? Like, he created light bulbs while he was using candlelight. We know what we need to do. We so we should go back transition. to using candlelight, is that what you're saying? No, I don't think you know what an analogy is. Well, I'm maybe maybe you can answer my question, know. Alex. Maybe you can answer my question. I'm... What even was your question? It was long-winded and full of lies. I, I mean, I just don't think that's the case at all. It's uh, very, very interesting that you... I mean, my question essentially was that you're saying that it's OK to break the law because that means people change their opinions. You're They're fixating on breaking the law, but this government, two years ago, broke its own high court laws by not following its own climate change policies that it itself made. Why aren't we holding our government to account, Peter? We have... Uh, I think we probably are, and there's an election coming up. It'll be interesting. No, there isn't. Um, there is an election coming up next year. Yes, oh, there, there is. is. Yes, yes, yeah, that. So no, that's, that. I said, but no, we're not holding them to account. Okay. They broke the law, and yet we are not. How, do, how did the government break the law? Any... Tell me how the government because broke the law. Because they didn't follow their own climate change laws that they created. Yeah, but the so government changed the law. And che laws. But the government changed the policy the and allowed it to do that. Them, the high court found them guilty of breaking their own climate change laws. But, but the government changes the policy and it is allowed to do that because this is the elected government. Um, Mary has been in touch from uh, County Down. She says, Alex is deploying the Just Stop Oil interview playbook from his training course. Belittle, sneer, patronise, heavy sighing, bursts of hysteria and wild claims. All boxes ticked. It's tiresome, unpredictable. Listeners can see through these climate grifters. Um, well, thank you for reaching out, Mary. OK, Alex, um, thank you very much indeed for your uh, contribution. I don't think we got much light there, but then Just Stop Oil would be happy about that because it doesn't use any energy. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's really quite sneery, I think, and I would have loved Alex to answer some questions uh, convincingly. It would have been really quite quite happy but to, to hear from him. Uh, I think a lot of his claims are, are pretty, pretty off the scale, uh, and I think a lot of the things he was putting forward were just not the case. But listen, uh, he was on and I'm happy to have him on again at some stage, but it would be nice to just have a little bit of professional respect for one another. Hopefully I respected him.